Welcome back to New Day Northwest. You know, we love celebrating diversity through film. So we're excited for the 10th annual Seattle Asian American Film Festival that is just about to kick off. Staff is celebrating its 10th year, had our first festival in 2013, and now we're having a great celebration of all the work that we've been doing through the years and all the work that we want to continue doing with sharing Asian American film with the greater Seattle area. Our festival this year is almost fully online. Our entire schedule is available through virtual screenings and we also have limited drive-in screenings and one in-person screening and we have a lot of really great special films to share I, with everybody this year. I'm sure, you know, I know the pandemic really changed a lot, but I feel like with these virtual screenings, it's kind of accessible to more people, right? Absolutely, yeah. We've been able to reach so many more people and also folks that are outside of Seattle um, in Washington State or across the country too. So it's been um, really great to hear people's feedback um, last year during our first virtual festival. So this year we're really looking forward to sharing more um, Asian American independent film with the country. Great films like Kate's. Kate, tell us about your film. My film is called Marvelous and the Black Hole, and it's about a teenage delinquent who befriends a children's party magician who helps her navigate her dysfunctional family life and inner demons with the help of sleight of hand magic. And it stars Mia Cech and Rio Perlman. I love that. That sounds like a wonderful and fantastic and fun story, even with so much underneath it as well. Uh, what are uh, some of the most important parts of the movie that you hope people take away? It touches on finding hope during dark times and trying to make connections, especially when you feel like you're all alone. So I hope that's the message that people get from it. I hope they come in and watch it and leave feeling a little more hopeful or with some more joy. We need that right now, we really do. This question is really to both of you. Can you share the importance of Asian representation in film? For SAF, this year being our 10th year, but also Every year that we do this, it's about celebrating Asian Americans. Our histories, our stories, our perspectives, our creativity. Our community is really diverse and can't be fit into boxes. And film has been a really great medium for expression and for pushing boundaries and for people to understand our communities more and to hear underrepresented voices. Our festival just really loves doing this work and being a platform for Asian American um, performers and storytellers and, and to be a host for films like Kate's for people to enjoy Asian American creativity. And uh, yeah, that's so well said in terms of like, it's a celebration. It's seeing, you know, people that look like you on the screen because growing up for so long, I loved you know, fantasy coming of age films, but never saw anybody like me on them. Mm. And representation is a way of delegating who deserves your attention, who deserves your empathy, your time, who deserves to take up space. Yeah. And festivals like, you know, Ellison's and um, the San Diego Asian American Film Festival, like these are the things that keep us going because we need a community to be able to like show our films to celebrate to have a platform and festivals are so important for that i'm so glad to hear that so many cities are doing festivals and sharing things and it is true it's what you said who's taking up the space in our minds and who is teaching us so Allison, I cannot wait to see Kate's film. I'm glad everything is virtual so that we can see these films. What else are you really excited about at the festival? So we have four limited drive-in screenings. The one for Marvelous and the Black Hole has sold out, unfortunately, but you can catch the film online. We have limited tickets, so get them now. Um, but we also have three other drive-in screenings at the Stonehouse Cafe in Rainier Valley, highlighting our centerpiece films. See you then, Kane Fire and Malahimi, and Free Cholsu Lee, um, all highly recommended. Those are happening the last weekend of our festival, March 11th through 13th. Um, you can go to seattleaaff.org to check out our schedule and, our and get tickets. And just a reminder, SAF runs from March 3rd to the 13th, and we've got a link to tickets on New Day's website.